this is our destiny and this is going to be a um well it's a demo and also a quick little first impression review on this new blow dryer that i got this is the red detangler double layer pick and you can see i'll show more of it in the video it's a double layer pick comb so it straightens and styles your hair all at the same time um i talked a whole bunch in the video so i'm not gonna do too much talking in the intro but these are the results of my hair i flat ironed it after i blow dried it and i only passed it through with the flat iron one time and then I curled it with my chi iron to get the curls on the side because I don't like my hair bone straight. It just doesn't, it's not my thing. But anyways, this is my first time using this blow dryer. It's the second blow dryer I've ever owned. If you have any other questions or comments about this uh, video, then leave them down below. Make sure you get connected with me on Instagram and Twitter also for random updates about hair school, everything. What else? That's all I guess. I'll talk to y'all in my next video. Okay, so... <sighs> Leaving the, I guess I'm walking too fast, the British Supply Store, and they had all of those different flat iron and blow dryer options. But I got this one right here with the detangler thing, so we're gonna go home now. Hey y'all, um, I'm the door. So I just got home from the British Supply Store and I grabbed a few things, um, with the relaxer, and my blow dryer went out on me, the one I had for five years, it went out, so I got this one from the British Supply Store and I like this the little detachment thing and I opened it in the store because I was like I'm gonna buy it but I need to make sure that this is in here because they had a separate one sitting on top of it and I didn't know if it came with it or not is that you could save time and straighten all in one simple step so it's supposed to straighten your hair even more when you blow dry it and it comes with these as the bonus this one is like a, du a double layer pick so I'm gonna go ahead and wash condition all that to my hair so I can use this so this is gonna be my first time using it and I'm excited because I've been using the same blow dryer for Let y'all know my first opinion on using this one. I'm out of breath because I ran this morning and I still ain't caught my breath back yet. But this is my hair. Uh, it was more cuter before. If you want to see how it initially was and I got a braid on the side, I'll leave that video in the description bar below. Um, this is the double layer pick that it is talking about. It's got the red on the inside here. Has the red by Kiss here, ventilation for the air to go. It just comes like this. It comes with two bonus clips. So this is an extra one. It doesn't have the double layer thing on the inside. And this is the standard one that you see that usually most blow dryers have. My Conair blow dryer did not have this one. All of these will, um, should be able to attach to the. Oh my god, it's so cute. Okay, so this is the blow dryer. Uh, this is my hand if you want to compare size because I know the cameras can sometimes be misleading. It says detangler 1875 ceramic. It has the gold detailing here in the front. And then just a regular cord. Um, cold here, high, low, and off. So you just switch it low, high, cold. It's easy to work with that and it has an arrow here showing you which um, indicator you're using also it has the reset and the test red and yellow standard that all plugs have and then the instructions about electrocution and everything all of these attach oh, I want to get my plug away and you can twist it pretty easy to adjust it and kind of seal it on there this one also twist it however you want to move it around and this is the one that I'm going to use today because I'm really this is the double layer uh, pick with the red inside so these the ones that's inside of there so for every one that's right here it's like two on the inside of it I don't know if I can if y'all can see what I mean I try to insert a picture hopefully so this is the this is the back. Um, you can remove this, I believe, or I'm not sure. I have to read the instructions. But it twists, so I'm guessing for easy cleaning, you can twist it off. I'll check out the instructions on how to do that. So this is the new blow dryer.
I'm going to attach this attachment. And the only two things I have in my hair is these two products, leave-in conditioner. And this is the only two things in my hair. And it says that it's supposed to detangle and all of that. So I just took my towel off and ran this through my hair and kind of did it like this. So we're going to put it on high and see what it's doing. Oh, it's not coming out. Hold on. Um, hmm. I press reset to get it to go. <laughs> First section is done. Silky, shiny. yet only for parting. Now I'm going to do the cold shot on this whole side of my head. That is really light, so I'm gonna comb it now with that. And as it said, the way that it's detangled, I can run my fingers through it really easily. And each section, each strand is individually separated from the other one. So, natural girls, this may be like really, really nice. Even though it says you wouldn't have to use a brush, though, depending different hair types, I would still detangle. But since I know my hair texture and it's thinner than most hair textures, not as thick, then I can kind of get away. We're just going straight in with this. Some people you may want to lightly detangle before you just dig in there with the comb. Even though it says that don't sue the company because they said it's supposed to do that. Don't break your hair off trying to prove a point. That's what I'm saying. Anyways, I'm twisting this. Adjusting it for my left side since I am left handed. That's why I always feel myself doing the right side of my head because it's more convenient. So I adjust it like this. And I can... It's easier this way. See that? Finish my whole head. Now I'm gonna just do the cool shot all over, and then I'll show y'all what it looks like. So, gonna go ahead and set it on cold. That's the one at the very top. Okay, so I'm pretty much done blow drying my hair. Um. It was really convenient because I didn't have to really hold a comb or use a power brush and a round brush and all of that while I'm blow drying. And I feel like it really gets in there at the root good to kind of make the root straight so that your hair moves around. So this is what my hair looks like. This is just blow dried. It didn't take long. Everybody's hair is different. If your hair is way down here, you know it's going to take you a while because your hair longer, so you got to actually go all the way in there. Get up close so y'all can see. I'm not sure if the shine is from these two products together or if it's just from the blow dryer. I can't test it out for y'all because I don't blow dry my hair without products. I just can't do that. So, <laughs> uh, what else? I'm not sure. I'm going to go ahead and flat iron my hair and I'll show y'all the finished results. I like this blow dryer because that Conair wear, this is the second blow dryer that I've ever, ever owned. My Conair blow dryer, I had it for five years. I will link a video to me blow drying my hair. Well, me using the blow dryer because I don't have a blow dryer video online. I'll link that one so you can at least see the difference in that one and this one. What the results for me looks like so you'll have something to compare it to. 
But I like it. I think it's going to be real flowy. Your blow dry results can pretty much give you an idea of what your flat iron results is going to look like. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I like my hair. So this part has been flat ironed already. Um, I flat ironed it one pass. Unless I need to do two, I kind of tap tap on the root and then I run it straight through. This is my Remington flat iron. Then after that, I curl it with my chi. Um, with my chi iron to give it like the curl shape because when my hair is straight and I'll show you what I mean with the section I got left. So yeah I don't like my hair straight straight and I want to go back to super cuts and have it cut to where it does this more what is that called <laughs> I don't want to say face frame and layers because I don't think that's what it is but to get this since I am curling it this section is the one I just finished I curl it and then I pin it and I'm going to take it down when I finish this last section I natural girls use what they call the chase method so they would like do like this while they're doing the hair. If my hand was the flat iron, this would be the comb, and then you would do like that to keep it straight. But because this flat iron, I mean, because the blow dry is so nice, the hair is like already straight, so there's no need for combing it and flat ironing it because it's like the the double thing here is like it it's straightened it out already. So I wanted to let the natural girls know that, and the relaxed girls that like to do the chase method anyway. Uh, for my edges, I take my edge stick and I just, that's the purpose for doing it. When I'm freshly relaxed, I don't really flat iron my hair at all. I see no point in flat ironing it already straight hair. But because of me having this blow dryer, this new one, I kind of had to. <laughs> just to do the review on it for y'all. I don't usually do reviews. I hope I did a good job on letting y'all know about this product. Um, but if y'all have any questions, be sure to leave it down below. I do not mind replying to those for you. But yeah, y'all see what I'm saying about like the hair is already straightened out. Like the ends aren't like stuck together or anything like that. Just because uh, the double pick, the double layer pick has already straightened it out. So, but I'm going to have to update and show y'all how I do this since I got my hair cut. And just because I should update it for y'all to know. See how I add a little bit of hair in at a time because if you take that hair and you clip it on the end and roll it up, only the end is going to be curled. So you add in a little bit of hair at a time. And don't just like, you can leave, but I comb it through one time and I go ahead and I pin curl it to cool. Because when you allow your hair to cool, kind of like hot rollers, it holds the shape in place better. Just finished my hair. I'm just edge stick. Edges only because the first ingredient in my edge stick is castor oil. And my hair get heavy really fast, so y'all see it. So, edges only. <laughs> Don't brush it all the way in your hair because it'll get heavy. Too heavy. I use this brush for it all the time, so it might have a little on there anyway. So these are the finished results. My hair is really flowy. Um, sorry, I'm showing that flash. It looks really nice. And I'm going to wrap my hair up. And I put a few pin curls here in the front. I'll link my wrap and unwrap video down below. I wrap it like kind of loose. Don't brush it really tight on your hair. Because you want it to hold the shape. You don't want to flatten it out too much. Well, I don't. I don't want to flatten it out too much. And not just that, but I don't want to take the band out, so I loosely wrap it around and pin curly. That video will be linked down below. <laughs> Initial review of this blow dryer. Hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to y'all in the next one.